Right, Coach? Senior day, you've got a couple of seniors you guys are going to honor. How much has this senior class meant to the program? Well, what people should remember is this is our very first class when we arrived as a coaching staff at Penn State four years ago. So they're the first group that have gone all the way through with us in our system. And you know their first year was probably a little rough for them. They signed up for something and then they showed up and it was completely different. But uh, they've embraced us as coaches, they've embraced the system, and they've thrived since they've you know, gotten into their junior and now their senior year. And these two girls are nothing but hitting machines this season, which has been awesome. And you talk about that, uh, Cassidy Stoddard has had a really good senior season. Talk a little bit about what she's brought to the table this year that maybe was different than past years for her. Well, in the past seasons, Cassidy's role was primarily a leadoff person on balance beam and on even bars. Uh, and she excelled at that. She had a huge hitting percentage, probably 99% over those three years. She's transitioned now from the opener on those two events to the closer. And her routines are still the same, but the funny thing is her scores are much better now. So the argument that it doesn't matter where you go in the lineup, um, it might not be valid. And I'm sure that she's happy that uh, she's getting nine nines now instead of nine sevens. And uh, Lindsay Musgrove, your other senior, uh, has really been a rock for you guys on the vault and the floor exercise during her career here. Talk about what she brings to the table as well. Well, over the past three seasons, Lindsay has competed for us primarily on floor, almost every single meet, and vault. And this season, she's been in those lineups every single meet. And she's stuck more than half of her vaults, which has been a, a great thing for us as the leadoff person on that event. Um, Lindsay now feels like her floor routine's really easy. She knows that she's gonna make it before she goes out there, and that allows her to go out and compete without any anxiety and just have a lot of fun. So for her to be the fifth up in our floor lineup, it's, it's good to see her going out there and having a big smile on her face, hitting all of her tumbling and doing a great job for us. And then last weekend you guys went to Rutgers for a quad meet. Probably didn't get the team score you were looking for, but what can you guys take from that meet come to this meet and improve on uh, in your last home quad meet of the season? Yeah, well, I really don't like to compare scores from weekend to weekend because you have different sets of judges. When you're in a quad meet, you start on different events. They know there are four teams out there. They're not going to throw a 9-9 on the very first routine on the, you know, the event, the first rotation, knowing that there's still another, what, you know, 18 gymnasts or 23 gymnasts to go that evening. So um, I felt that our performances were really good, and that's the main thing. You know, we did uh, six hip beam routines. We went and rocked probably our second best floor of the season, our best vault of the season. And when we went on to uneven bars, you know, the mistake, the little slip by Sammy Musto in the first routine, and then Randy Lau's peel off, um, you know, that was really super scary for, uh, for the girls to stand around and wait for them to get her up and get her off and then to come back and hit those four bar routines like that under pressure. Leaving the meet without counting a fall, that speaks a lot about uh, you know, how strong these girls are uh, mentally, and we expect to just build on that as we go through the remainder of our quad meet season. Great, thanks coach. All right. Hi Alexi, uh, you battled injury early in the year. What was the toughest part of being injured and how did you work to come back from that? Um, it was pretty difficult coming in, or in, being injured coming into the first meet of the season. Um, being a side bystander to the whole season up until now has been really difficult for me, but I've had to adjust in a different sense to lead the team besides example. But it's, it's good to be back now. And you came back against Illinois. You've done a couple of exhibition routines, but now you're into the lineup this weekend at home. How did the first two weeks go and how are you feeling heading into this weekend? Um, it was definitely good to get out there, get a little bit of um, experience just for the season. Um, it what didn't go as best as it could, but I definitely think that in the, pra in the practices this week have given me more confidence to compete this week. And this weekend is the final home quad meet of the regular season and then you head to your last Big Ten quad meet of the year. What does this team have to do to continue to improve this week to build into next week's big Big Ten competition? Um, I think that we just have to really transfer what we've been practicing into from practice to the arena. I mean, we've been doing really good and making baby steps to do better. And as we get more confident and more confident, it's going to show off in the long run. Great. Thank you.